This is an introduction to how Substance can really change up the look and style of your scene. We're going to import some awesome looking shaders by using the Substance plugin that works with the Arnold plugin. If you don't see Substance or Arnold, go under Windows, Setting Preferences, Plugin. Make sure all four of these plugins have check marks next to each one of them. And the other one is Arnold, which you've been already working with during the semester. Make sure both of those are checked. If you don't see Substance, then you have two options. This doesn't come up. One is to rerun the Autodesk Maya installer. You'll see one of the choices of this installer is to now install Substance. The other option is to go to the URL that is also on this page. And from this page, you could download Substance plugin for Maya for Windows, Mac, or Linux. What Substance will allow you to do is to use some awesome pre-made materials and get them right into Maya. We're going to be using stuff from Substance Share, which is free. All you have to do is sign up and you can download some of these materials. Just find some ground pattern to play with. Thinking rocks would be good. And I'm going to search for concrete. I'm searching for substances that have parameters to change. And this one, there are multiple edible parameters. That's a good one to start out with. I'm going to download it, hop back into Maya and create a box. And we're going to apply that substance that you just downloaded. Let's scale this box up. I'm thinking it's going to be a wall. Moving on up. And a little trick about all substances. And if you're going to a video game engine, you need to triangulate this object. Having to do that, select the object, go under mesh, and select triangulate. I'm placing in this scene Arnold lights. Sky Dome light so we can see what we're about to create. I'm going to select this object, and currently the material that's on this object is a Lambert material. And now we can take a peek behind the scenes of Maya. Maya is a node based program, and all the interfaces are bubbling up of all those nodes. When we click this icon to attach a texture, we're actually creating a node that connects from this color to a file node. Let's take a look at the world of nodes Windows. Rendering Editor's Hypershade. And up here, you can see all the materials in the scene as swatches to apply a particular material to this object. You would middle mouse button, drag it, and drop it here. And that's the same as right clicking, assign existing material. I need to connect this substance material to an AI standard surface material in order to apply it to objects in the scene. To start, right click in this empty workspace area, create node. Type in Substance and click on Substance node. And click here to close this window. I'm going to attach the substance by selecting this node, clicking on the browse off to the right side, clicking this substance that I just downloaded, clicking on Open. And we're just one quick step away from getting our first test render out. Scroll on down until you reach the area workflows. We're using Arnold as our renderer. Select that from the drop down. It should be the default. Next step is to click this button, create shader network, and wait a second or two. You'll see a bunch of nodes being created. And there's everything. Now, to, in order to get the substance to work properly, and then we'll explore more of these details. Let me navigate over to the displacement map and to see that, use the wheel of your mouse to move in and move out, zoom in and zoom out. You can hold down the Alt or Option key and the right mouse button to zoom in and zoom out. Or you can press the Option key or Alt key, middle mouse button to pan. I'm interested in displacement. And following from the very end on the right side, this is our Arnold material that was just created. And here it is also up there. Click on Displacement Shader, and for the scale, not 1, but try something like 0.01, and if that doesn't work, 0.001. When I said it doesn't work, if your object looks distorted. Just too much displacement's going on with Arnold when it renders, so we have to push back that displacement. Okay, we're ready to apply the material. Right-click on the object, assign existing material, this new AI Standard Surface 1 material. Press six in the viewport to see a preview and hit render. And there's our material. Now you might be thinking, well, how's that different than applying images? The way it's going to be different is through the adjustment of the parameters. 
um, moving all the way down to the left side of this shader network and clicking on this shader right here. And I'm scrolling on down to the substance parameters, the substance parameter section. And you can fold it up and you can open it up again. And underneath the standard tab right here are a bunch of parameters that we can adjust. You can preview them up here. You can do a random seed that will just create some random pattern. So this way, if you're reusing this texture, it all won't look the same. The amount of rebars, maybe I want fewer of them. You want a lot of them. Corrosion spot mask, let me turn that off. Or increase it. Maybe the dirt amount. Concrete roughness. Maybe it's not very rough. It's very rough. And dirt roughness is up too. When you're done, you could go back here. And if you want to see this denser, that's just the UVs. There's just the amount of UVs. Scroll further on down right past the parameters and open up the UV. Click this node right here. And now we can adjust the number of times. Let's say two by two. We can see it out here. Maybe 10 by 10. And then hit render. So this is an introduction of the fun of substance. I'm going to now increase the displacement map, maybe 0.1. I'm going to build a quick scene. I'm going to duplicate this, rotate, create a sphere. I'll put it in here. I'm going to remove the AI skylight and create a regular light, create lights, point light, increase the power of the point light by going under the Arnold setting and maybe setting it up to five, click render and see what we got. All right, I'm going to use another substance on the floor. And I'll do this very quick. I'm going to just scale up the floor. And this is a review of the process. Go under Windows, Rendering Editors, Hypershade. Click within this work area, right click, create node, and the node is going to be a substance node. Selecting this node here, scrolling on up, and for the load substance, going to pick a different substance. Let's try rocks or stone ground. I guess stone ground. While I'm here, before I connect this to the Arnold material, let me adjust the UVs. So I want this to be three by three, for its repeating pattern. Click off, click back on to see if there's any other interesting parameters I could adjust. And this one doesn't have any parameters, so. I'll just take whatever it gives me. Scrolling back on up, going to workflows, create shader network. Wait a moment. And there's our shader. And this is going to be our AI standard surface. I'm going to click the middle mouse button and hold it down and drag it to the ground. Maybe I could scale the ground a little more. Clicking on the substance node. Scrolling on down to the UV, clicking this icon, unfolding this, and maybe I want to repeat 10 by 10. A little better. I'll zoom in. Let me duplicate this wall, just so there's some objects in the scene. You can see by adding substance to your scene with Arnold, everything begins to look so much more realistic and this is just getting started with substance.
as you can see, just adding substance to the scene and without even taking much control over it, our scenes look so much more awesome. This is an introduction to how substance can really change up the look and style of your scene, and it was pretty simple as a workflow.